Well, I think it's time to take the hundred or so years of historical relationship that we have shared with Malawi and really exert influence on the future for healthcare across that country. To support that, we've created through support of Scottish Government, Welcome Trust and also in partnership with the MLW in Blantyre, Malawi, a new clinical translational research facility. Now that facility is going to provide basic lab services to really deliver for the next generation. Uh, we've established a programme of uh, MSc scholarships whereby we invite uh, two uh, students each year for the next five years to come to Glasgow to study for the degree of MSc. Like coming here and getting education and going back to be able to translate the knowledge that we have learned here into action. I mean, it's serving the nation. I mean, like, we feel like we are representing Malawi and wouldn't stop representing Malawi. We've been trying to develop things in several areas, in health, global citizenship, education, and infrastructure building and training. And as you've seen, all of the things that we're doing together apply in all of those areas and actually work for both Scotland and Malawi. It's actually to have exchange and ideas and the mentorship part of it has been, I mean, like excellent. <laughs> it's been a fantastic learning experience and in, actually for myself I've ended up getting, got, getting a, a, a Commonwealth PhD fellowship which I've been moving to after finishing my MSc. We have high ambitions for healthcare in the future in Malawi. What's maybe less obvious is that many of the problems in terms of poverty induced disease are also faced by many of us working here in the west of Scotland. We think the mechanisms that link poverty and poor healthcare outcomes are going to be remarkably similar whether they're mediating their effects in Blantyre, Malawi or Blantyre across the wider west of Scotland area. That we think means that we will deliver an effective programme which going forward into the future will be sustainable, will grow, will have impact both in Malawi and in Scotland and also there's a parity involved in this in that people in Scotland and in Malawi will, will, will all benefit from these research programmes. And here we have uh, Nelson and Transizio also learning some uh, local culture, being educated by our uh, cultural attaché, uh, Alex Mackay.